I have lots of stories about Steve Jobs and typography. But yeah, I mean, it's important to them. This was a period when Steve Jobs was out of Apple. He was in exile. Um, and they were struggling with, what is Apple? We're not doing really well anymore. Um, we don't know who our audience is. We don't know what our place is in the world. And we think that we need to be more corporate because we're losing out to companies like Microsoft who are selling tons of software to corporations. We need to be look a little more serious. Hi, my name is Marty Neumeyer. I'm the author of eight books on branding and innovation. And you're watching okay, Behind the Brand that, you know, with Brian Elliott. And so they had done a lot of packaging uh, packages uh, for their software that looked corporate and not in a good way. And it wasn't working. So uh, we got the job to redo it all, 15 products. So it was really important to them. It was all their product line. So they said, uh, whatever we do, we need to test this. We can't just like take a guess. We're, we're not going to go with your gut feeling. We're not going to go with our gut feeling. I said, great, this is super. So we put in a budget for testing. Would you do focus groups then? No, you know, people say focus groups a lot when they think testing. Um, this is something to really be careful of. Focus groups are a bunch of people sitting around a round table uh, where they get to express their opinions. And it's not a good venue for um, deciding what's good in, you know, in the marketplace. Because what happens is, uh, first of all, they're not experts. Second of all, they don't even know their own minds. They usually don't know what they really think or how they actually behave when they're shopping. Right, and they may be just telling you what they think you want to hear. Exactly. They want to be, you know, uh, critics. And, and what happens is one person at each table, every time you do one of these, um, will take over the conversation, and that'll be the answer for the whole group. And it'll be different from each one. Each one will be different. So, She's the lead juror. So here's the secret about focus groups. They were designed to focus the research. That's all. If you don't know what to research, you get a focus group together to find out what to focus on. It's not a, it's not a way to judge work. Uh, before it goes into the marketplace. If you want to do that, you have to judge it in a, what we call a, a near-life situation. <laughs> so it would be like, um, in a, like in, their, in our case, in a store, on a shelf, with actual customers shopping for that sort of product. Like experiential. Experiential testing. Yeah, you're doing it. Right. And so what you do is you take, um, you get two or three different uh, options and you put them on a shelf. They look like they're finished. Uh, they're in a situation uh, exactly like the one where customers are going to experience it. Yes. So, uh, and then you talk to them, and you never ever ask them which one do you like. That is, the, the, you're right back in the focus group syndrome. You say, which one did you see first? Good, right? Because there's competition on. There's a lot of clutter in the in the store. Uh, which one did you see first? Why do you think you saw that? Well, because the bright yellow just popped out. Well, this one's yellow, too. Why didn't you see that? Oh, yeah, it's not that. It's because of the yellow and the blue together. They look great. And, mm -hmm. and then, okay, so that one that you, that you like, what do you think that does? What is it for? And if they can't figure that out really quickly, you've got a problem, right? Um, so you, you have questions like that. And if you ask hmm, I don't know, 20, 30 people and you start getting the same answers, you start it gets through to you, right? So what, what we would do, like with Apple, is we'd go to the store, talk to a bunch of people, and have our clients hanging around pretending to be shopping and listening, and we'd be taking notes too. Um, and at the end of that session, we would know really clearly what we had to do. I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that. <laughs> You know, tracking my roots, where I came from, and where I'm going. But like I say, man, always said it. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. Ain't nothing changed with the weather.